tragedy in San Diego as the Chargers prepare to remember the life of Junior Seau. Now, Junior Seau is one of eight members of the 1994 AFC champion Chargers to have prematurely passed away since then. A member of the 1994 team actually joins us on the phone right now, John Perella, defensive tackle and currently the head coach at Valley Christian High School in Dublin, California. John, I want to ask you, a lot of people have been shocked by this, a lot of surprise out there. There apparently was not a pattern of mental instability here. How surprised were you when you heard about Junior Seau's passing? Uh, you know, like, just crushed. I mean, you're talking about not only just a great, maybe one of the best all-time linebackers in the game, but probably one of the one of the best all-time people off the field. I mean, I, myself and my family, we were just crushed. A man that we all loved. Uh, a lot of people talked about his uh, character off the field, but his commitment as a player on the field was truly remarkable. I read a stat the other day saying that he only missed nine games due to injury in his first 14 seasons as a pro. Talk to, about his, uh, talk to us about his ability to tolerate that kind of pain. Yeah, Junior was an incredible player, as we all know, but you know, he played banged up a lot. You know, I can remember him playing in Seattle uh, years ago when he had a broken rib or it was, uh, and played the whole game in just dire pain. I mean, he was truly the, you know, the prototype uh, linebacker. You know, his ex-wife and a former neighbor of his uh, told the press recently that he suffered multiple concussions, uh, hundreds, maybe even thousands of concussions uh, during his career as a professional football player. Do you think there was any impact there between that and then life after football? You know, I, I have no idea. I'm sure there's something to it, but I just hope that the experts will really take a look into it and, and do everything they can to protect, uh, you know, the professional players like Junior who have played such a long, long time that we can, uh, you know, we can make sure these kind of incidents don't happen again uh, to anyone. Is there anything that uh, certainly the members of the 1994 roster perhaps have been brought closer together by the, by the tragedies that have happened uh, since 1994. Are you guys checking in on each other more? I mean, what happens when you guys get these phone calls through the years that another teammate's passed away? Well, I think the biggest thing is you, it's just it, it crushes you. These are guys that were, you know, they went in and put on the armor, um, played, you know, football for a long, long time. And when you walk away, it's time to you know, do something else special in your life. And, and, you know, it's just a crushing blow to see guys that, that paid such a tough penalty to, uh, to play the game or, you know, tragedies are happening uh, to them. Now, you guys play, uh, obviously, 16 games together, then whatever postseason there is, and a lot of times people kind of go their separate ways. They might go home. They might uh, take up different professions, obviously. Uh, do you guys tend to get together often? Does that 1994 roster get together often? How, how do you guys keep in touch, or do you? Well, you know what? I, some of the players do. You know, we talk to a few guys over, you know, as the years go, go by. The biggest you know, the, the sad thing is, is when tragedy happens, uh, I guess we use it as a support to call each other, make sure you're doing okay, and email each other uh, and those type of deals. But, you know what, this, this thing here is, I, I hope people are focusing on the greatness of Junior Sales' life uh, and not the incident. I mean, we really, that's a guy that I can tell you that, you know, there's any high school kid in America could model his life after him. What he did off the field is amazing. He's an amazing man. Mm. And how do you personally plan to uh, commemorate Junior Say Are you going to this Friday's memorial? Yes, my fam my wife and I will go down Friday night and, and uh, just to pay tribute to a man that we all love and, and to uh, just support his family. And finally here, uh, just to throw it forward a little bit, uh, what can the NFL do? Do you think that the league can do more uh, to help players after football? You know, I know O.C. Humaniora tweeted recently that there's a strong possibility when he's 45 that he may be in a wheelchair. Is there anything the league can or, or should do to help former players after football? You know, I'm not the expert. I just hope and, and pray that they're they're sitting down and, and putting their heads together on things they can do to help the players that uh, who've played a long, long time to make sure we don't have tragedies. Not that uh, to players and, not, and, and they can live a. Uh, just a successful life, you know, with their, uh, you know, so many guys have neck injuries and back problems and all these knee injuries, and, and that is hope the NFL and, and our players, uh, our union can work together to come to a great common uh, conclusion in the end.
All right, well, John Perella, thank you so much for taking time today, and uh, I'm sorry for the, for the loss of Junior Seau. John Perella, defensive tackle on the 1994 San Diego Chargers, spent most of his career with the Chargers, and he's currently head coach at Valley Christian High School in Dublin, California. I'm Michelle Steele. Thanks for watching this special report from ESPN.com.